Hello all, welcome to my channel Learning Oasis. So in the previous video, we saw how to create a list in, how to create a drop down list in Excel and also how to make it dynamic. So for every new entry, the list gets updated automatically. So in this video, we are going to see how to create a, a dependent drop down list. So what do we mean by dependent drop down list? So based on the value that you are selecting in the first list, the second list should give you a unique set of options for the each value you select in the first list. So let's see here, we have a column that's named team name and the second column with the team member name. So based on the team that you are selecting, uh, the team member names should vary. So, so this is what we are going to do here. We have uh, three different teams. Okay, one is the HR and then uh, finance and operations. So based on the team that you are selecting, uh, the name of the team member should modify. For instance, if you select HR, uh, this is the three names that you should get the get in the drop down list. Okay, let's see how to do that. First, let's add a drop down list for the team name. For that, let's get into the data tab, select data validation, and then select list for the source. Select these three options. Okay, and then click OK. So now you will get a drop down list with the uh, three different teams that is available. So next thing, based on the team that we have, uh, we need to create another drop down list which will give us the uh, em employee name or rather the team member name from that team. For instance, if we select HR, it needs to give John, Sam and then Lisa, not the other names. So let's see how to do it. Again, we need to use the drop down list. But before that, we need to make a certain list created. Okay. For that, what I need to do is I will select this range. So this is for the team from HR. So for instance, I select this and then I will name it as HR and how to name it. You will have the name box at the top left hand side. Now here you need to give the name and make sure the team name that we are going to have in column B and then the name that you are giving for this range both should match. Okay. So we have given the name as HR and then for this one, I'm going to name it as finance. And third one, I'm going to name it as operations. Okay, now we are done. So now that we have added three different lists, now we will see how to get the second drop down list created based on the team name. For that, what you need to do is again, go to the data tab, so click on data validation and here select the list. And then in the source, instead of selecting the range, uh, we'll have to give the name of the list. And also we need to introduce a function called as indirect. So indirect of I need to give the cell name which is B7 and then hit enter. So what, what does the indirect function do? So when you use the indirect function, instead of selecting the value in this cell, it will look for a list which has this particular name. For instance, we have a list created with the name HR. So it will refer to that. So the resultant of that would be this. When you select HR here, it will give you the list of names, which is John, Sam and Lisa. Okay. Now let's check for the finance team. So if you go to the finance team, if you click on this drop down, you will get Mike, Steve and then Tom. So that is the name that are available in the finance team. And then if you go to the ops team, it will give you the list of options that is available in the ops team. If you see William, Kerry and then Kevin. So this is what you will have. So what if you want to make this dynamic again? any new member that you're adding, you need not go ahead and change the source. It should automatically uh, show the new item in the list. So for that, what you need to do is a simple, the same thing that we followed in the previous video, convert this into a table and then this into a table. And the third one, this into another table. So I'm going to add some new names here. Okay. So let's say then. Okay, so we have added three different names, one for each team. Okay, so now that now we can cross check it. So if you go to the HR team, the fourth member will be added. Similarly for finance, the fourth person will be added. And for ops, again, the fourth person will be added. So this is how you create a dependent drop down list and also make it into a dynamic one. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you all.